month of Safar is a month in which Allah wants those whom He has called in their heart and in their soul that leave the shaitanic kingdom and run to the cave. Run to the cave of rahmah and mercy and reminder that the entry price for this cave because now this dunya is going very quick, the testings will become intensified and moving even quicker because dunya is at its final phase. That the entry price to this cave is to take the rocks that these awliyaullah will throw at the dogs and those whom want to have the character of obedience and peacefulness. It's not easy when they describe a rock, people they oh he's talking in, in like a analogy. But if you can imagine standing and someone throwing a rock at your head, what would be happen to you? You would cry, you would be in extreme pain, you would be in many different types of difficulties because it hit your body, hit your head, hit all around you. And the whole time you'd be, why is Allah letting this happen to me? As those who really want to understand then they should take notes to understand, this is not a philosophy class. When this shaykh speak it, you can bet your being it's going to happen. Their life not to brag is filled with examples. I think 2006 we had invited people from different areas to come to the Ramadan with my shaykh, our shaykh. And the minute Ramadan began the intense bombardment, every talk was against me, every talk was an attack upon me, every talk was everything I had done wrong publicly. Nobody tested me privately, publicly to publicly humiliate and shame me. And sitting in that place and then running out the door is the most difficult experience you can experience in your life short of any major calamity and death, even death would have been easier than to think, how am I going to sit through this? But then they whisper in your ear that you've been trained, that as it bombards you, humiliation in front of people, who cares? You didn't take this path about people, you didn't take this path about yourself, you didn't even care about yourself. Isn't that what you were saying every day? This is how yourself talks to yourself. I took a vow that, Ya Rabbi, I'm nothing, I'm not worth anything. I'm asking to enter into your oceans of nothingness, to reach to the threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad So then they attack, So my gosh why is he attacking like this? And in your heart you meditate and connect and connect with them and they remind, didn't you want to be nothing? What do you care if you're humiliated in public? Didn't you say you know nothing? So then agree with whatever he's saying. One after another, attack, 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 attack and never open mouth and it didn't even open eyes. We don't want to talk about it like it's bragging but people get a little bit of tested and they're running. It's not a bragging. Is then you meditate and keep your eyes closed and say, I can't even open my eyes, I'm so ashamed because everyone in the room looking at you. Because that's like what Sayyidina Maryam comes and teaches you. Everyone in the room says, we knew you were the rotten one. Even they saw many miracles, doesn't matter, they say, oh we knew you are rotten, we knew you are a horrible one. So then now all their sicknesses will also come out. Nothing like somebody throwing rocks at you and others to pick up the rocks and throw them again at you. So Allah wants to show you, oh those people around you, they don't like you, they were always jealous of you. And all their sickness start to come out and every type of badgering, hitting everything and the whole time closing your eyes and shooting through the heavens. Because there can be no lifting without crushing. Means that's why even giving birth is a tremendous crush upon the womb and then an ease, crushing and then an ease. 
through every difficulty will come in ease. So this is this whole pulsing co expansion and contraction is, is the secret for everything. Allah how you can receive a darajat if I don't crush you and test you and crushing is not something easy, your heart to be broken and that's why all these nasheeds and knots are talking about my heart like a glass now. The tariqah make you to be sensitive as, as if somebody pulled your skin off of you, you're raw. Can you imagine if you have no skin, it, the air burns you. Because when you're in dunya anyone said anything to you, you gave it to them with your tongue right away. So you built like a layer of protection, nobody could harm you at all, you give them three words back. Tariqah come and make you to be raw, no, 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 when dealing with the shaykh you have no mouth, you can't say anything back. This is Surat al-Kaf, the same month, we get to that example later. There's no talking back, you're raw, you're going to be tested and everything is going to hurt you, your heart like a glass and Allah going to shatter it. And that's why in these salawats and nats read the words that my, my chest is like a glass, how much you broke it Ya Rabbi, how much you crushed it. Because they can't blame anyone else, they should be at a level of tawheed where they know that not you or anyone else can do anything to me that Allah has not written. You can't even approach me without Allah writing it, this is maqam tawheed Can anything come to you that Allah has not written it? Can anything move away from you that Allah has not written it? Can a word be said to you that Allah has not said it? You like it, you don't like it because this is now a testing arena. That Allah will send whatever He wants to send to bring out the maqam of the station, however He wants to bring them out. So we understood this is like a testing ground, everything going to come, you can't say anything, you stay quiet, do your tafakkur, do your contemplation and the other people who are throwing rocks at you, they may not even be responsible or able to stop what Allah wants to happen. This is again maqam al tawheed this is the first level of your usul because they say, oh, see, you guys talk spiritual things but never usul, no, no, you're wrong, it's all Islamic law. The first maqam is, is that nothing but la illallah, everything is coming to Allah through Allah by Allah's command. Every word that comes to you is by Allah's command. You have no ability to stop it and the one whom saying it has no ability to stop from saying it. If Allah orders it, it will happen. The transaction will happen, the person will say what they have to say and you're going to receive what Allah wanted you to receive. Physical, mental, spiritual, verbal, whatever it is and this is the month. So then all of a sudden you see this barrage on social media and different places of everyone attacking but yet nobody staying silent. Every dog begins to bark but you're not a dog that's going to receive any station when you start to bark. So then that's when awliyaullah are testing. If the smaller awliya don't know it, the larger ones definitely do. They see the arena, for them it's just a, an arena and they begin to bombard. And every puppy in training you can see, oh this is a wolf, this is not a puppy. This one he type, start typing and, and saying so many things. And they didn't understand that this month opens, remain silent. Don't, don't say anything, don't get involved in any of these dialogues. Become quiet, فَأَوْذُ amri in Allah, in Allahu basirun bil ibad. Allah verily knows my state, only Allah can give me a najad and a sense of peace, bring tranquility to my being Ya Rabbi. You see that the bombarding, bombarding, bombarding and then in the middle of the Ramadan order from Prophet enough, enough and you're going to obliterate the person. But that has to come by order. That's not when you say you don't need it anymore, it's by when they say you don't need it anymore. So it means they teach this way so we understand when difficulties comes to our life, 
and the shaykh is telling us, this is a month of safa, this is a month of testing, this is a month of running to the cave, then it's real. And people will see the cave and people will see the difficulty. Not only the spiritual people, the whole world will be put into difficulty because Allah is just. Allah will apply a difficulty upon everybody to see how all His creation react in the time of stress and duress. Keep your faith, keep your practices, keep your tafakkur. Blessed are those who understand how to meditate and contemplate because they can take the difficulty of outside and they are the Hizbullah, they go into the heart and into the association of where Allah is gathering, into the heart. They're the party of Allah that they go into their heart for the real association. And the real association they tell you, don't worry about what's happening on the outside. Allah's cracking because He wants to bring what's hidden inside out of you. You know you're charcoal but there may be a diamond inside, say, no I want to remain a charcoal. Mm, I don't think any parent could allow their child to remain as a charcoal. Say, no Baba I want to be a charcoal. I want to go everywhere and make everything dirty. I said, no if you just let me clean you a little bit you may be a diamond. There's a diamond that Allah wants to be brought out, get rid of all the other garbage. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding. InshaAllah we have the words from Ya Rabb, uh, Ajnabid, let's do the, the nasheed on Ya Rabb and this, this nasheed in Farsi of Ya Rabb is that, let me read because these the awliya they, they read these for us to read them then live by them but people think this is just for entertainment purposes until they start to get a little bit of left and right in their life and, and <laughs> understand this is far beyond entertainment purposes. It's good the lights are up we can't even read this. Tell me my Lord what have I done wrong? What did I do wrong? Because they now know testing is coming. It's not coming only from Allah Everything in their life they understood something's going on. Allah wants something, what is it that you want Ya Rabbi? What did I do wrong? What did I say wrong? What did I show wrong? Did I show anything demonic into this dirty world of this dunya? Oh my Lord if you don't want me then that's a sin, I have done nothing wrong. Listen to me my Lord, listen to my pain, am I speaking nonsense to you? Make me to be non-existent and extinguish me, extinguish me. That the, 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 the sense of their sincerity that they don't understand what is all my bad characteristics that angering you, it's better that I be non-existent in this world Ya Rabbi. Tell me my Lord what did I say wrong, what did I do wrong other than the pain of love that you have given to me. This love for being with you on this path, on this way to reach through all these difficulties is the only time I ask for madad. I asked for the love, you gave me the love and now I'm lost in the madad because every type of rock coming to me, I need your madad and support to survive it. Means these only Allah they're giving for us that I'm lost in this Divine love, I beg for support, listen to me my Lord, listen to my pain. We pray that Allah make our path to be real for us, to understand what Allah wants from us of our character and that we have the good character to receive them. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.